You guys are already aware that uh, we're doing the art for this Pokemon LP. And we're trying to do people that have been on the blog before and um, in going along that same line, who better to do some drawings than these folks. So I was trying to come up with something that would be kind of similar. So I've given her Nidoran female and him Nidoran male and they're going to do uh, the, the complete evolution line for both of them. So it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I guess we will... Uh, We'll see. <laughs> also, hi everyone, and welcome to Monday. Mal's at work, and I am getting a haircut today. First, I'm uh, eating some lunch. This is some leftover pizza from last night. And then I'll get a haircut, and i got to do more work today. But uh, actually, the Nidorans have to uh, go into the videos. And I was like, I need these done anyway. This would be a good chance to, uh, to, to see them draw some of these Pokemon. So, I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> haircut in three, two, one, drop! Well, that probably wasn't the smoothest transition I've ever done, but my hair's cut. Also, Mao uh, got home from work, and she actually came over here, and she's working on her dress. She needed my mom to help her with something, so it's actually coming together. It's like mostly it's done. done. It's almost done. It's almost done. Actually, it was really cute. Rocco uh, was sitting over here uh, in the chair. And he was watching Mal work. And that really blew my mind because uh, generally whenever there's any kind of abnormal sound, Rocco just hits the trail and runs as fast as he can. But he actually sat there and watched her do it while it's making that na 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 sound. I was surprised. I didn't think he'd actually do that. Anyway. The other day the Pokemon LP came out and uh, whenever it came out I mentioned in the video description that I had legitimately caught 151 Pokemon when I was a kid. It actually led to a lot of comments being like, well, how did you catch Mew? Actually, Toys R Us had an event that uh, let you capture Mew legit. And I don't know why I thought of this, but I, I, I was in my parents' house and I was like, I'm going to put Pokemon Stadium in and see if I can find Mew. I found him. He was hiding out on my Pokemon Yellow cart, and this is my legit Mew. Also, <laughs> the games look a lot better on a CRT television. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is my legit Mew. The original owner is Yoshi RB. So I guess that's the name that the Nintendo person used. I don't I don't really know. It's a level 55. I think it was I probably got it as a level 50. I don't know. I don't think I really ever used it. Um, my Pokemon Yellow Car also has two Pikachus. I have a surfing Pikachu, which is weird. And um, maybe I got that from a Toys R Us event as well. I have no recollection of that. Um, although, no, the original owner is Steven. I have no idea. I have no idea why I have a surfing Pikachu. Although, to be fair, I had a Game Shark as a kid. Um, so maybe I hacked him in because there's like a special mini game in Pokemon Yellow that you can only get to if you have a surfing Pikachu. That's probably how I did it. But the Mew, the Mew is legit. Actually, um, I had a lot of fun when it, with a Game Shark when I was a kid. I actually made. Uh, Magibeam, which is a Magikarp that's got like Solar Beam, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, and I put them onto Pokemon Stadium just to see if the animations would work, and they did. And I'm kind of hoping I come across them, but I don't know which card he's on. The only one left is Blue, so I gotta try Blue and keep my fingers crossed he's on there. Well, I checked Pokemon Blue, and I, I was curious, maybe I had put it on Gold or Silver, but I put Gold and Silver into Pokemon Stadium 2, and still no dice, actually. Pokemon Gold and Silver, there's no save files found, and whenever I went to the little tower thing to actually play the game, there's no save files. So I don't know if the batteries just died in them, which is odd, because they're still working in Red and Blue, or if, for whatever reason, I erased both Gold and Silver when I was done playing them. I have no idea. I would make another Magibeam because it was pretty sweet, but I know for a fact that my uh, my poor Game Shark is dead, which sucks. Also, I'm giving Goldeneye a shot again. Um, now that I can actually compare it on a CRT. Um, personally, I mean, just starting the game and going through the menu so far, I'm not noticing a, a, a big issue. I think Goldeneye is actually a pretty ugly game um, as compared to, like, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. I mean, even the first one, the first Pokemon Stadium looks good. So I think maybe GoldenEye was just a crappy game choice to try because the game looks really bad <laughs> compared to at least Pokemon. So I don't know. I might try a few games uh, both on the CRT and the uh, the HDTV because I, I honestly don't think the HDTV is going to be that bad. Plus, 
Uh, if I can actually um, get a hold of an S video cable, I might try that. This could, this uh, TV actually doesn't have S video inputs, so I don't even know if my HD TV has some. But if it does, um, I will actually try that. Bungee jump, yeah! I actually beat the level this time, which was good. Um, but to be honest, Goldeneye's really freaking hard just because you can't tell what the heck is going on. Like there are guys that are far enough away where you can't see them. But they can see you, and they are shooting at you. That is ridiculous. I mean, when I was a kid that didn't notice it, I guess I was just so immersed, I loved it so much. But now that I'm older and I've played other shooting games, oh my god, you can't do that. <laughs> like, the draw distance has to be equal for both parties. You know, I need to be able to see the enemy who is shooting at me. Uh, either way, I beat Double O Agent, which is good. I survived. It took me 20 minutes just because I actually killed all the enemies in the level. And then I was like, where does this covert modem go? So I actually had to go into my player's guides in there and pull out the player's guide because I didn't remember where it went. But it actually goes on that little, uh, it goes on the little screen. Because the other day I put it on the satellite, but it goes on the screen and then you go down into the bunker and you uh, get it from the hard drives. Nostalgia. 81. Guess how much I have. 40. 82. Really? Yes. How do you have 82? Look at <laughs> 10, all the 20, teeth I 30, have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 2. Look at all the teeth I have. Yeah, but you know what? Throughout the game, you were going for the teeth and not the cards. Also, we call honor teeth for some reason. Because we put teeth. I can't believe we were running a point apart. How, how many did you have? Uh, 60. 62. How many did you have? Did I have 70. 70? Oh, man. Well, I beat Aww. last night, though. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Wow. Ha! I beat you! Take that. Also... Yeah, I killed the big guy. I get props for oh, that. Oh, yeah. She did kill the big guy at one point, which was pretty impressive. Also, we played Ascension. This is the end of it. Interesting anecdote. When we were on our way home, we are coming up the steps to our apartment, and we walked by a tree, and a worm fell out of the tree and landed on my foot. About a five-inch worm landed on my foot. I wear sandals pretty much all the time, so there was a worm that just landed on my toes and was crawling around. And I was at first I looked down and I was like, what was that? And it looked like uh, like a piece of pine straw that was wet because it had rained. And I was like, I got a piece of pine straw. So I start trying to kick it and it's not going anywhere. And I look down and it's like crawling around on my toes and I'm like, you're a worm. <laughs> what are the odds that a worm fell out of the tree at the same time I was walking by? But uh, I didn't want to pick it up, so I took like a rock and like let him crawl onto it, and then I kind of unwrapped him from my toes. Then I came in the apartment and washed my foot, because uh, that was important to me. Anyway, earlier when I was going through my Pokemon games, and I, I put Pokemon Red into Pokemon Stadium, I was reminded of a devastating thing that happened to me when I was a kid. I put um, somewhere between two and 300 hours, probably closer to 300 hours, into Pokemon Red. Pokemon Red is the copy that I caught all the Pokemon on, and uh, I, I did a good job, you know, I put all that time into them, I, I cut all the Pokemon. And then my cousin came over. My cousin uh, lives in, in, in Maryland, so he doesn't come very often. And he had come over, we, you know, we were young, he wanted to try out Pokemon Red. And I said, okay, you can try it out, but that's my, my save game, so, you know, don't save over the file. You know, you can play it, but don't save it. And I mean, we were young, but we weren't young enough that he didn't understand not to do that. Like, he wasn't stupid. But just to spite me, because he was a mischievous little dirtbag, um, I'm just being honest. Uh, as a kid, he was a terrible individual. Terrible individual. Um, but anyway, just to spite me, he actually saved over it. And I lost all my progress, and I lost my Pokemans. Um, now, as you saw earlier, like, I had traded a few of them out, so, like, I still had the Mew and some of the other ones, but, uh... You know, like, most of my Pokemon were gone, and that was, like, devastating to me as a kid. So, I wanted to talk today about deleted game saves, because when I was going through the games and I, I realized that, I was like, oh my god. Because I looked at the playtime on the cart, and it was like, something, it was something crazy low, like, 20 hours. And I was like, 20 hours? I was like, where's my... And I was like, oh yeah. So, talk about the time when one of your game saves got deleted either by a mischievous individual, by your own mistake, or by faulty software. You know, if, if you have like a, like a cartridge that the battery died, or if your memory card just uh, went out, or if like your hard drive died, or something like that. You I have one to share. Really? Go for it. I was playing Dark Cloud 2 and I was on the final boss level. Played it and got all the way to the end. I never beat the boss then. It was really hard, and so I started a new game just for fun, because the beginning of the game is easy. 
and I'm playing the new game, the easy, the easy game on like the first chapter, mm -hmm. and I go to save it, and I accidentally save on my boss fight. Yep. And um, stupid me pulled out the memory card of my PS2 and uh, it erased both games. Wow. And then there were none. <laughs> then there were none, and Dark Cloud 2 is a very long game. And you're not going through that again. Actually, I did at some oh. point, and I beat it. <laughs> Oh, well, at least you're a determined individual. So yeah, I know that feeling. I know that feeling of dread, especially on a game that you've put hours and hours of your life into. So talk about that, because that's there's got to be some interesting stories that you guys are going to have. And I know that as, as bad as mine feels, as bad as Mad Mal's feels, there's probably one of you out there that's got a devastating story that we're going to cry when we read. So let me know below. Anyway, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?